Uh, Jared, a bit of a seesaw session here. If you want to just look at the Dow here, uh, we're coming on the back of what we saw yesterday, the Dow and the S&P 500 coming off of two straight days of losses. And for the Dow, it was off nearly 400 points yesterday. It's worst performance in more than a month. Uh, what's standing out to you in terms of the action today, especially given what we saw in the Fed minutes yesterday, which seemed to really rattle investors? Yeah, I don't know if this is a huge sea change, but there was some information that had not been priced into the market yesterday. So you want to take a look at the Dow? Let's go ahead and do that. It's down 107 points today. I'm going to get a five-day look so we can get some more perspective. And you can see the trend is definitely down on this short-term basis. And by the way, these are Dow futures, so we're also seeing overnight price action as well. Uh, we are seeing some leadership in the NASDAQ, but you mentioned the bond market. I'm glad you did that, Akiko. Here is a two-month chart of the 10-year T-note yield. Actually, going to make this a three-month chart. And you can see we had this big rise we were talking about uh, last week and, the, and actually the week before. And now we've had a little bit of a down drop. But all in all, I think we're just kind of chopping around sideways in this uh, summer period where equities don't really do that much and just trying to find a reason to go higher or lower here. And Brian Chung probably has some great insights into that here. We're going to hear from him in a second. But I also want to mention the VIX here because the VIX is perked up it's trading above 20 right now. And we can see that this has happened before. And some of these were just very quick little downdrafts in the market. But is this going to be something more prolonged? I have a feeling that uh, we still need to go a little bit lower. I think we need crude oil to hit $60 a barrel or maybe a little bit lower than that before we have the all clear with this particular a little correction. Now, this is a NASDAQ 100 and a few standouts here. NVIDIA, we're going to talk about them. They just reported earnings that beat analyst expectations. Well, that's a five-year chart. Let's check out a year to date. They've been a, a leader in the semiconductor space all year long, actually, and they were one of the first to break to the upside to record highs. Semiconductors have flagged a little bit recently, so we'll get some commentary on that. And uh, also checking out some of these Chinese stocks that we talk about just about every day, uh, Kiko. JD.com down another 5%, uh, and Pinduoduo down another 7% as well. Jared, I'm surprised you haven't highlighted the commodity space. I know you watch that really closely. We've seen a big pullback in oil today. What's behind that move? Well, I think it's all uh, demand destruction that's getting priced in right now. Uh, the Delta variant was kind of a, uh, I guess it kind of did throw a lot of uh, market participants for a loop here. And just look at the commodities heat map that, we're, that we have here on our screen. That is a lot of red. Haven't seen this much red in a long time. And crude oil down another three and a half percent. Um, you can make the case that we need to go a little bit lower. Let's, get, let's dial this down, you know, one month view. Uh, Sorry, we're going to make this a three-month view. There we go. Um, I, I think we have to hit $60 a barrel at least before we continue to the upside here. And I think that will happen. Uh, but the counter to all this commodities weakness is dollar strength. So my final point here, Akiko, um, we are seeing the U.S. dollar index at multi-month highs. And looking at a five-year chart, uh, this is the most recent move. This is 2020 to 2021. Uh, this could have some legs. We could see the dollar strengthening materially to 98, and uh, that would be a measured move. And that would have a lot of repercussions on emerging markets and the multinationals here based in the U.S.